Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rokhakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. To you all, I say Shalom, the 144,000 men that are doing this work in sincerity and truth, and the one third of the men, women, and children that are listening, learning, and helping. Uh, in all sincerity and humility, to you all, I say greetings. So, this video is, is I'm really doing it through the spirit. I got a couple scriptures in mind that I want to do, uh, pull out. But, uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Uh, you know, um, something happened recently, you know, in my, you know, not, not bad or anything, but it, it made me, uh, it inspired this video, so to speak. And, you know, it made me think like all of the men... Uh, of Israel, all right, the of uh, the hopeful elect are leaders, man. And I, I say that wholeheartedly. You know, I don't say, I mean, you know, we can, I don't say that haphazardly, you know, because I get it. All right, there's order. All right. Let me, let me get that first. Actually, that's a good, that's a good precept to start with. Okay. Let's go to 1 Corinthians. Before I even go into this, this is First Corinthians, fourteen and forty. It says, "Let all things be done decently and in order." Okay, so obviously there's an order to this thing. Is obviously you have uh, you know ranks, you have levels, you have men that are uh, spiritually and uh, you know. Let's see. I don't know the proper word to put on it, but by nature, naturally, um, more apt to lead. OK, and I understand that. All right. You, you have certain people that are in uh, more leadership positions. OK, you you know, you have the apostles, which are ultimate leaders. OK, um, they lead. They, ne they not only lead by um, the things that they say. All right. They lead in action and they lead in deed. OK, so. We ought to follow that example. But, you know, this is not, you know, um, the Lord has put certain men in certain positions. But that just because you're not the head of a camp, just because you're not uh, second in command, just because you're not the first officer. All right. Just because you're not the apostles does not make you any less of a leader. OK, it makes you no less of a leader. OK, let me let me get. um let me get Isaiah. And, and honestly, this is the thing that happens with our people. We have been diminished mentally for so long to think that uh, our people can't be leaders. All right. Esau has messed up our minds. He's got us working at these low end jobs. He's got us thinking less of ourselves. But all of you men are leaders from the top to the bottom. OK, from the, the head of the camp all the way to the guy who most recently uh, was a part of the camp. OK, and honestly, even I'm, I will go so far as to say the one third are leaders, too. Obviously, that's why I brought out decency and in order because of this, this scripture that I'm about to bring out, you know, but the one third. All right. They lead in uh, their belief. OK, they lead in their belief because they uh the Lord asks us to to carry ourselves in a certain manner. All right. So just just because the uh, one third. All right. May do more listening and may not be teaching as much. All right. But they still lead. OK. They lead by following the law, statutes, commandments of the heavenly father. All right. They still lead by their actions. If somebody else sees them and says, hey, man, you know, hey, why, why don't you get lineups? You know, if the spirit might jump on the brother, hey, because I followed the law, statutes, commandments of the heavenly father. All right. Was that not an action shown as one of a mentor? All right. I do this for this cause. OK. And that's because we were giving Yahweh Shah as an example to follow after. We were giving the apostles to follow after. We were giving the elders to follow after. OK. So this this is a, a, a overflowing river of leadership. OK. So let me get this. This is Isaiah 30 and 20. It says, and though the Lord give you bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Okay, so 
your teacher, when your teacher is in a, a typical classroom, all right, they're the leader of that classroom. They're sitting at the, they're at the front. They're telling the directions. They're telling you how things are going to go. So that's the person that you seek to for guidance. They are a leader in that um, that profession. OK, when you go to a doctor, you assume that he is a teacher, a leader in the professional or medicinal realm. OK, so as far as this world is concerned and these scriptures and how you're supposed to live as a man, hey, you brothers are leader, your leaders and even you sisters are leaders of younger girls and men under the age of 12. OK, you're leaders in your own right that are following a, a man of the Lord. OK, and that's why it's so important for you to change your behavior, you, not just because you like, oh, yeah, well, you know, I don't want to wear dresses because my man told me to wear dresses. Now, nah, because now you're being rebellious and it says rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. All right. But if you follow hey, in order to be a leader, you have to be a follower. OK, <laughs> in order to be a leader, you have to be a follower. OK, the, uh, there's only one ultimate leader that follows nobody. And that's Yahweh. The own that's the only one. Everybody else follows somebody else in order to lead. OK, Yahweh Shai, he follows the he follows Yahweh. All right. And Yahweh Shai even gave reverence to other men, too. All right. Did he did he uh, did he not say um, to uh, he says there is no there is no greater prophet than Elijah the, uh, than um, John the Baptist. That means he, he was he that's his that was his cousin, you know. But to that he was saying like John the Baptist is a leader. There's no greater prophet than him, man. Okay? I believe he was talking about uh, Zacchaeus. He says, uh, you know, there's uh, no greater faith than Israel. You know? So all the, the Lord was even given uh, men. You can lead in faith. You can leave it. You can lead in um, uh, herbs. Okay? You can lead in prophesying. You can lead in breakdowns. You can lead in uh, your knowledge of the scriptures. OK, there are different ways to lead. So, hey, that's why the Lord gave every man his lot. OK, so just because you are in the top position does not mean you are not a leader. All right. Um, I want to verse 21. It says, and thine ear shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way walk ye in it when you turn to the right and when you turn to the left. OK, so the leaders are going to are telling the people right now, hey, walk in the way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Come back to the Lord and you're going to be redeemed. OK, but the, this, this nation that we live in now, they rather follow the false leaders. And the scriptures say if the blind lead the blind, then both of them fall, fall into the to a ditch. So people are people always look up. People are always looking for leaders. Let's keep it 100. All through these people's life, even these people that want to get rich and famous, they want to find out the people who got all the money and all the clout. They want to follow the rappers, the celebrities. They want to find them, follow the multimillionaires. They want to learn how to follow so that they can eventually lead. But these people are doing it in folly. We're doing this to receive a righteous reward and uh, to bring in the kingdom of heaven. OK, so every brother has his own portion to lead, man. OK. Um. Let me get, uh, let me see, is Luke one, set? Luke, I think Luke is one that I wanted to get, it's uh, like two, maybe one in second Ezra that I want to get, this is Luke, I believe this one will suffice, let me check it out, Luke one, and I'm going to start at 16. I'm going to start at 15. It says, uh, this is uh, talking about John the Baptist. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. So anybody filled with the Holy Spirit of the Heavenly Father is a, is a leader. All right. And so that 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 shows it all top. Jeremiah one and five. Before I knew before I knew thee, uh, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, man. OK, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations and uh, the prophets were leaders. And that's another verse. And I'm going to get that in a second. Ezra. Uh, it says and many of the children of Israel shall he turn to their to the Lord, their power. 
Okay. Oh man, how do we ever miss about? How do we ever? How did I miss this scripture, man? Okay. <laughs> All, all, all these years and many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God <laughs> oh man all right so what John of John was the Baptist he was out there baptizing people right and everybody like say oh, you know dip him in the water you know John the Baptist but he said he was turning the children of Israel to the Lord oh man that's a cut uh, but it says uh, and he shall go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah that's another cut that lets you know he's uh, uh, Elijah in the reincarnation. He shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom to the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Who's those people? The children of Israel. OK, and that that's that goes with uh, Malachi, the fourth chapter. OK, when it talks about Elijah and uh, the reincarnation, Abba, Abba Bivens. Okay, so uh, let me get uh, Second Ezra. I also want to get Jeremiah. I think it's Second Ezra, the first chapter. Second Ezra is one. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Second Ezra is one. And where should I start it? Maybe. Let me start at thirty-seven. It says, I take to witness the grace of the people to come whose little ones rejoice in gladness. And though they have not seen me with bodily eyes yet in spirit, they believe the thing that I say. You see that? And that's why we're faith based Israelites. All right. We have not. It says, blessed are your eyes for they have seen. OK. Or and blessed are those who have not seen and believed. OK. It says, yet in spirit, they believe in the thing that I say. That takes a leader to do that. It takes a leader to walk on faith. OK, even when you uh, when, let's say when you have um, what do people say when they leave a job? You take a leap of faith. All right. Now, some people are just foolish, but other people are actual leaders. They're like, hey, they know a company is doing them wrong. They know it's not working out the way they wanted to. All right. But they know the Lord as they're walking out on faith that the Lord is going to provide something better for them. And maybe not the hours that they want, you know, maybe not receiving the pay that they want, whatever it is, man, it takes a leader to have a mind state to go against the current man and we're going against the current of babylon america we're going against the we're literally going against the current of the whole world man all right we're, we're going against the grain we're pushing against the wind it takes a leader to do that man there's a picture they have of a wolf and it has a uh, it says uh uh it has the whole wolf pack is standing at the brink of the snow uh and they're starting to walk in but the leader he trudged open. Uh, he started walking in the snow. It was neck deep up to the wolf, but he's pushing hard to make a way for the pack. OK, and so that's what leaders do, man. You, you make a way for the others to follow after. So all of you, all of you uh, people that are doing the will of the Heavenly Father. All right. You're, you're doing the work of the Lord. OK, you're you're leaders in your own right. And you're paving the way for the children of Israel to come back to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. And at the very least, you're, you're still paving a way for the world to get set back in righteousness. And how much more in the kingdom of heaven, although they, they might not realize that you're a leader now. We know you're leaders. How much more in the kingdom of heaven when they see that you're a leader now, when they see uh, when they're walking around with shame and the other nations are uh, bowing down. Who they're going to be bowing down to? They're going to be down, bowing down to you, man, because you're a leader. OK. And you led when ooh, we led when leading was not. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Popular. We led when leading wasn't popular. OK, because right now, of course, leading is always popular. But I mean, we led in the way of righteousness when it wasn't popular because right now everybody's they don't mind leading in the way of wickedness they don't mind leading christian pastors don't mind leading to get some money and get that bag up off you but to sacrifice this world it takes a leader and a king mind state to do that all right uh but carrying on second Ezra one and 38 it says and now brother behold what glory and see the people that cometh from the east okay that the children of israel it says, unto whom will I give for leaders? Okay, now about, they're about to name some leaders, but nonetheless, this still applies to all the children of Israel. Because when we look at all of the forefathers in our Bible, when we see the names of these books, these are all leaders, man. Okay, and these are the men that we ought to, uh, to follow after. Okay, I'm, Lord, when I get that Baruch too. It says, unto whom I will give for leaders, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, 
and Oseas, which is uh, Hosea, Amos, and uh, Micaeus, which is Micah, Joel, Abdias, which is uh, Obadiah, and Jonas, which is Jonah, Nahum, and Abacuc, which is Habakkuk, Sophonias, which is Zephaniah, Agias, which is uh, Haggai, Zachary, Zechariah, and Malachi, uh, Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. So let me read it, um, how it's how we know it. Unto whom will I give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Hosea, Amos, and Micah, Joel, Obadiah, and Jonas, Nahum, Habakkuk, or Habakkuk, Zephaniah, uh, Haggai, Zechariah and Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. So, amen. These men were given for leaders and the Lord says we ought to follow. We, we given these books. All right. So just because you're not one of those men named or your spirit may not feel like you're one of those men named. You know, I mean, first off, we know there's one hundred and forty four thousand leaders off the top. All right. So if you're doing this work and you're on the highways and the byways, you automatically should esteem yourself as a leader. Number one. Off top, even though, and I'm not talking, the scriptures say there's a time to abase and a time to abound. All right. Of course, we're not, we don't walk around like, yeah, a leader don't have to necessarily say, yeah, I'm the leader. I'm the leader. You don't got to puff yourself up and say it like that because that's what leaders, leaders don't have to do that. You do it by nature, but you also lead by example, man. Okay. You lead by your actions. You lead by believing. Okay. So just because you might not be one of those men mentioned, the Lord got uh, uh, believers and, and leaders all throughout the scriptures. And even though, like I said, the one third are not exempt to not being leaders. They're still leaders in their own right, man. OK, they, they, much more than the two thirds. The two thirds are not literally the two thirds are followers. OK, because all they do is follow the way of the world. The one third, they decided to lead in the way of righteousness and get away from the two thirds. OK, the two thirds going to be looking up to the one third in the kingdom, man. The, uh, the heathen going to be looking up to the one third in the kingdom. All right. Uh, now, let me go to Baruch. I think I want to get Baruch. The, uh, I think three, three and seven. Baruch three and seven. It says, uh, and for this cause, thou hast put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee. So when uh, we were in ancient times, we sinned against Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. But he's taking the spirit of uh, wickedness, any wickedness that we did towards him. All right. Out of the spirit of following and going into altars and groves and put the spirit of righteousness on us, man, so that we can lead the people. Okay, so that we can show them how to find Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, we don't want to uh, forsake the fountain of wisdom. We don't want to walk in the way of the wicked, man. Okay, it says, "With all thy getting, get understanding, man." And you're you, we are understanding that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to deliver us. We have understanding that Yahweh Shai was sent to be that leader for the nation of Israel. And that sacrifice for us, man. He's the ultimate leader, Yahweh Shah, man. He literally walked in this world in perfection. <laughs> what great we have a perfect leader, man. Literally. Who want that's how you know the world is wicked. Why wouldn't you want to follow the perfect leader? You find all these people with these worldly flaws, but we have the perfect leader, and they decided not to follow him, man. They said, Let his blood be upon us and our children, man. Okay, this is uh uh Syrac 44. I'm gonna read. One through four, I believe. It says, um, let us now praise famous men and our fathers that beget us. It said, let us praise fame. Usually you are the people that, are, that they, they, they esteem famous in the world. People that are leading in uh, acting. People that are leading in music. People that are leading in entertainment. Okay? So it says, let us now praise famous men. Those famous men that we're praising now are Yahweh Bashim Shai. Because it says, his, his fame and his glory is the ultimate one that we seeking after. But the Lord said he's going to give us fame and glory throughout all the earth. Okay. So th that fame is going to come with you leading in the way of righteousness. All right. But our forefathers, they're, 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 they're the ones who get the When people are like, who do you look, who do you look up to? Yahweh Shah, you know, Elijah, Abraham, Moses, you know, Isaac, Jacob, you know, Jeremiah, Obadiah, Ehud, 
You know, you you, you uh, jo- Joshua, Joseph. You start thinking of men of the Lord. Those are supposed to be your role models. And nowadays, these men are back on the earth. That's the spiritual thing about it. Now these men are back on the earth. You know, we run into other uh other men of the Lord, and it's like meeting celebrities, man, because they're leaders. You know, I've even had encounters like that. I don't mention them because I don't like to. But I've had encounters like that, man. Well, people have met me, you know, but the, the Lord have uh, made all of us a nation. He says he's making us a nation of kings and priests, man. And kings are supposed to be leaders and priests are supposed to be leaders. OK, going continuing on uh, Ecclesiasticus. 44 and i'll start at one again let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begat us the lord hath wrought great glory by them through his great power from the beginning so when people ask oh how's the bible written how did you do that hey these great famous men that the heavenly father wrought great wonders with man that's how these famous ancient leading men okay it says uh such as did bear rule in their kingdoms and you bear rule in your kingdom you're a leader Okay, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies, man. So these men were prophets, okay, declaring prophecies. It says leaders of their people by their counsels and by their knowledge of learning meet for the people, wise and eloquent in their instructions. So you become a leader of the people by your counsels, man, by your knowledge, by your knowledge, wisdom and understanding of the Heavenly Father. It says uh, and learning meat for the people, wise and eloquent in their instructions. So, hey, you might not be able to speak the best, but that'll make you a leader nonetheless. It says wise and eloquent in their instruction, not in their speech. OK. But a man can be known through his speech, but then it's not literally how you speak. It's the things that you say, man, and the way that you act. OK, your 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 words and your actions show what a man is. OK. I'm just going to jump down um, to verse seven and eight. I'm going to read seven, eight and uh, ten and eleven. It's a good chapter. It says all these were honored in their generations and were the glory of their times. There be of them that have left a name behind them that their praises might be reported. And those praises are reported. How? Through the scriptures. Okay. And verse 10. But these were merciful men whose righteousness had not been forgotten. These things have not been forgotten because the Lord said these things are written uh, for a time for our learning, man. So that we can know who the true leaders are, man. And that's why we say the apostles are the, all the, the, the leaders of all of Israel. Regardless if you can receive it or not. Okay. It says, uh, with their seed shall continually remain a good inheritance and their children are within the covenant. Okay. So, and that's what we wish for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to have mercy on us. Okay. And that we be followers of these great men and that we be these great men. Honestly, you know, we, we, you know, we, we hope and pray that the Lord have mercy on us and that we be of these great men that we are one of these great men that are written in the book, man. And that the Lord have mercy on our souls. And that, that we, we seek righteousness, man. Oh, was there one in Isaiah 55? I think so, that I wanted. Isaiah 55, and I'm going to start at 3. It says, Incline your ear and come unto me here, and your soul shall live. And see, that's another reason we're, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're leaders. Because it says, come unto me, and your soul shall live. People that are telling people how to live. Those were the leaders to do. Like when you got people that, you know, you got the dudes that are physical trainers and stuff like that. People count them as leaders. Why? Because they have an expertise in how to make them their lifestyles better. All right. And we're teaching you how to live because this is life immortal. All right. It says, uh, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. All right, so he, we're going to make it. The Lord said he's going to give an everlasting covenant to us. The sure mercies of David. David received sure mercies, and we're praying that we get those, man. Of the man after the Most High's heart. It says, Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and a commander to the people, man. All right, so hey, King David was a leader to the people. Yahweh Shai was a leader to the people. 
All right. So these are the men that we ought to follow after the men that are going to lead us in the way of righteousness. The men that's telling you not to take the RFID chip. The men that's trying to get you back to your house by Shimmy Al-Shah. The men that are trying to get you on a chariot. Okay. The men that are trying to get you on a chariot. You are leaders. All right. So, hey, brothers, keep your heads up and don't ever say that you're not a leader, man. And don't ever believe that you're not, regardless of what your position is, because the Lord would not have put you in the position that you're in if he had not the thought that you didn't have a spirit to lead others, man. That you may be leading in other ways that you don't even know. It's more people watching you than you think, man. Never forget that. Even if it's even if you a brother and you only get one view. OK, if you only get it's not even about views, but if you only get one view on your video. Let's just say that that one person who's watching you, they're being led in the way of righteousness and they're looking up to you to give them guidance on how to get into a chariot and how to believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So, hey, um, this little low one, this list was edifying. Your brothers keep leading, man, you know, hey, and keep following, too. I'm going to say that. OK, because we got to keep following. We still learning, man. I learn something new every day. All right. And I'm grateful to you, how about Shimmy Al-Shah, for keeping his spirit on me and allowing me to learn and allowing me to recognize what a true leader looks like. And I'm not talking about appearance. I mean, in his in his works. OK, in his actions, in his deeds. And we got to stay grateful for that. We could be one of these guys out here that think uh, LeBron James is an actual leader. OK. Is he a leader in sports? Absolutely. But we're talking about the leaders of that's going to get me salvation, man. Those are the leaders that you ought to be following, man. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, or Chakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. Hey, keep leading, leaders. We almost going home. Shalom.